When you're working with data, it doesn't take long before users ask for results faster and faster, resulting in the question, can we get this in real time? Rather than writing and reading data in batches, a streaming data architecture consumes data immediately as it's generated, persists it into storage, and may include various additional components per use case, such as tools for real-time processing, data manipulation, and analytics. There's some important terminology to understand first. Streaming is real-time, not near real-time. That means as data comes in, it is immediately queued and passed on to the analytical database to store and process. Micro-batches can appear real-time, but collect and batch data and process it potentially in seconds. They can appear very similar, especially since reports and dashboards will usually take seconds to render anyway, but the difference lies in how the data processing is designed. And as technology gets faster and more efficient, the gap between batch and streaming is getting even smaller. Before we get into that, let's consider the use cases that actually need streaming. Users always say they want real time, but often micro batches can solve the majority of use cases. You have to evaluate the time to value for each use case. Ones where data changes and seconds can be critical are really good candidates for streaming data. For the use case of customer analysis, batches for looking at what ads were most recently effective in the past, streaming is to know what ads a customer should see in session. Fraud, batches for auditing forensic evidence, streaming is to stop fraud from occurring mid-transaction. Billing analysis, batches for looking at spend during a cycle, streaming is to notify users when they hit a limit. It tends to come down to streaming should solve a problem that is impossible to answer with batch, such as corrective action in a moment. So why not just do streaming for all of your data? It kind of comes down to cost and complexity. Batch processing will usually have data quality and stability built into the processes, making sure data isn't missed or corrupted. In streaming, errors in the system can be really hard to recover from. Many streaming systems use a Kappa architecture, which is a mix of streaming, but then also a batch sync to ensure data has been transferred successfully and correct for any errors or back data. Let's look at a few of the approaches to real-time data, starting with queues. Messages are put into a queue and consumers consume the messages to process them. Messages are acknowledged as they are consumed and deleted after they are processed. A real world example of this would be queuing at a shop. You stand in one big line, message queue, with one cashier, consumer. That cashier is processing each shopper, which is a message. Shops can open up more cashiers to help with the customers if there's too many. In a publish subscribe model, events are published to many downstream consumers. Consumers get their own copy of the message to process, unlike queues where messages are pulled out of the queue. Consumers come and go, producers produce events without often knowing what the downstream consumers are. And then streams. Event streams involve processing data as it happens. Event streams are a continuous flow of data that can be collected and processed in real time. Think of streams as a series of unbounded events. Typically, message and streams are ordered based on partition or topic, depending on different solutions used. Consumers can read events in the stream from a particular point in the topic or time. Message queues are designed to store and transmit messages between distributed components, ensuring that no data is lost during the process, while streaming focuses on real-time data processing and analytics. Message queues are more suitable for scenarios where the primary concern is reliability, as they offer guaranteed delivery, message persistence, and consumer acknowledgments. Streaming excels in solutions where real-time analysis and processing of data are crucial, and it offers low latency data transfer and allows for data analysis across multiple time windows. In a data streaming architecture, the message broker plays a similar role to that of a database and a batch processing model. The most commonly used message broker is Apache Kafka. This is the element that takes the data from a source called a producer, translates it into a standard message format, and streams it on an ongoing basis. Other components then listen in and can consume messages passed on by the broker. A producer isn't concerned with what happens to the data once it's sent. Getting the producers and consumers designed in a way that works as event-based can be a lot of work in itself. Combined with the compute expenses, this is where you really have to be sure there's value in the use case to put the effort into building out a streaming solution.